Hi, this is Paul the 619. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be the free comic book day video. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't able to make a uh, free comic d uh, book day, which was Saturday. I actually went with Sunday with my um, my wife and my grandson. Um, I did pick up some uh, free uh, comic books. Uh, the good thing is that um, Aaron from Now or Never Comics in downtown San Diego he was uh, cool enough to uh, save some uh, for me. Uh, three titles um, that I I really wanted. And then the rest, um, I pretty much uh, just picked up uh, what was left over. Um, but there were some good titles. I was really surprised uh, to get what I ended up getting. Um, but that will be at the very end of this video. Uh, I, I'm going to show you um, uh, pretty much what I picked up. Um, also, um, you're going to see that... Um, we went to um, Barnes and Noble. Uh, my wife needed to pick something there, um, uh, pick something up there. Uh, she pre-ordered it. Um, I believe it was online. Uh, but the cool thing is that um, it's kind of uh, Barnes and Noble is kind of my uh, honey hole for um, D and D um, uh, items. So um, I ended up picking up some miniatures. So um, I'm gonna do a unboxing um, of some miniatures. And um, we'll see what we end up getting. And um, yeah, I think I might have some other things in this video to show. So yeah, let's get into it. So besides getting um, uh, free comic books for free comic book day, I end up getting, um, I had to order this, uh, special order it because I uh, I forgot to pick it up um, the week it came out. But this is a Strange Academy uh, Finals. Uh, this is the last issue, issue six. So, um, yeah, I couldn't believe I missed this, but yeah, that's, um, I ended up, um, picking that up and then I also picked up, you saw in the video, I ended up picking up, um, uh, Sting, um, growing up, he was one of my uh, favorite wrestlers. He's actually in my top five. So yeah, so I had to get him. He was only five bucks, five bucks. Now in every comics, they have, um, Tons of action figures and toys. And, and as you saw, my, my grandkid made out like a bandit. But uh, yeah, this was five bucks. And they have, you know, um, besides uh, pro wrestling figures, they got Star Wars, um, like Marvel Legends. Uh, they have um, He-Man, uh, Teenage Ninja, Mutant Turtles. I mean, they got it all. So if you needed to get toys, never, never comics in downtown San Diego. Okay, so let's go into the miniatures. So, like I said, um, Barnes & Noble, it's kind of like uh, my honey hole for D&D items. Um, you know, the thing is with me is, like, I like to support um, uh, gaming stores. Um, also, I like to um, support the bookstores. Because uh, remember when they had they used to have, like, Amazon or Wall... Uh, I believe it was... Uh, Walden books, yeah, Walden books. You remember those? 
I mean, they're they're no longer with us because people start stop you know shopping there. So Barnes and Noble, you know, if I could go and get something there, you know, I will. So this is what I ended up picking up. Um, first off was um, Icons of the, Dungeons and Dragons, Icons of the Realms, uh, Van Richter's Guide um, uh, to Ravenloft, and um, these are blind boxes. Um, and the thing with me is. Um, I always try to get um, the blind boxes that are the heaviest, and I don't know, you can, you can't feel this, but I'm telling you, this thing is heavy, because usually they're super light, and that means that the miniatures inside are really small, and if there's a little bit of weight to them, that means they're going to have a big figure. Hopefully, I get something like that. Yeah, that'd be dope. If I get something like that in here, that'd be dope. And then besides that, I end up getting this. This is um, Dungeons & Dragons, Icons of the Realms. Fizzbane's uh, Treasury of Dragons. So this is like a super booster. So in here, there should be... I don't, um, there's like one large or huge collectible miniature inside. So, yeah, hopefully I get like a dragon. Some, um, some cool-ass dragon. So let's open it and see what we get. All right, so I pre-cut. There was tape on both sides, and I kind of pre-cut it. So I wouldn't be struggling, but uh, <laughs> let's see what we end up getting. Holy crap, what is that? <laughs> oh, that's wicked. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's start with the small miniatures that are in here. So, again, this is Dungeons and Dragons, Icons of the Realms, Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. So, I think a lot of these are going to be like horror type um, miniatures. Let's see if you can see that. That's pretty sick. Wow. And then at the end of the video, I'll, I'll take a group. Um, film like a group uh, um, scene of all the miniatures so you can see them all. What is that? Ooh. It's like a demon of some kind with a, a bone in its mouth. I don't know if you could see that really well. <laughs> and then Ooh. This guy looks badass. It's kind of like a um Ooh. Some kind of warrior. He's got a sword in one hand and it looks like a is that an axe? Axe in the, in another hand. And, and the thing with these, they have um, uh, clear bottoms, so sometimes it's really difficult. Yeah, this one says a death knight, so that's a death knight. Okay, so what I said about the, um, uh, the box being heavy, so <laughs> this is, I hope I could get this out without breaking it, but this is what was making the, the box uh, so heavy. Yeah, this is insane. How am I going to get this out? I feel like I do it without breaking it. Whoa. Look at this thing. Okay. This is pretty wicked. I don't know if you could focus on it, but if you look, it's made up of, like, dead bodies. Like... Right here, it's like, yeah, I don't think it's safe. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this thing is like tripping me out. What the heck? It's called a zombie, a zombie clot. 
So I guess it's just a bunch of dead bodies that form. It's like farming a, a, a monster. <laughs> so these are all dead bodies throughout. I mean, you could see like a face right here. God, this thing is wicked. Holy crap. Wow. So <laughs> that, yeah, that's, this is why the box was so heavy. Cause like, this is the death knight in comparison. Yeah. There's a big, there's a definite size difference. So yeah, totally stoked. I'm totally stoked when I got out of this box. All right. Now to open, um, this guy. All right. Um, so it's a super booster. There's just like a one large figure. Holy crap. What is that? Okay. So it's not a dragon. It is like a, I don't know what the hell that is. Again. Horde. It's a horde mimic. Whatever the heck that is, but man, that is wicked. Look at that tongue. <laughs> All right, so um, those are what I ended up getting out of the um, out of these blind boxes. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, what you saw. Um, again, I'm gonna do kind of like a um, a video of all the miniatures at the very end. So, um, as always, thank you for visiting my channel. Peace, guys, um, and uh, don't forget to uh, support your LCS. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.